morning everybody welcome back i know it's been a minute um i haven't been diving too much lately but today i got the opportunity to jump back in and yeah really not expecting too much today from just for myself um just because i haven't been consistently going but we'll see um uh, what happened i just hope you know i get some opportunities today to you know shoot some fish and bring them home for Ryan this weekend um, you know, I'll meet up with Captain Mo and Joe today. Uh, possibly Jensen. I'm not too sure if he'll make it out today, but hopefully. Uh, I give a thumbs up for good luck, and we'll see you guys on the water. So this is a super late start for us. Um, just all the planning, the logistics, we still got to fine-tune it, and... Um, during that time that was getting ready, the conditions were slowly starting for turn, started to rain, uh, started to get windy. So I wasn't really expecting much, just hoping to get out and find some clean water. Um, I am using the pink lens today, and this is by far the best lens, that best lens color ever used, man. Check them out on the website, uh, VentureWestie.com, link in the description below. So when we do find some clean water, there wasn't much dive spots um that we hit today i think it was in like three three spots um this gopro really doesn't just doesn't do it justice of how kind of dirty and milky it actually was but um yeah i kind of just took a drop it's about 30 feet uh looking around i know i seen a red uhu that was kind of just cruising uh it kind of swam away and so i checked under this little overhang and in the back, I see the Uhu slowly start to come back. And he's slowly making his way towards me. And I just push off a little. Get a great shot on it. Top of the spine. And I knew I had it. And um, I really got to work with this GoPro head strap mount. I switched over to that just so I can start filming different angles. But I don't have the angles down just yet. So you can't see the whole fish. But... Um, that's all right. Um, first drop, one of my first drops of the day, I was able to, you know, tag a nice uhu, and just that alone was super rewarding for me, because I haven't um, been diving too much. I mean, you haven't really seen any new videos um, from me that I've been posting. So, yeah, this is my first dive in a while. So, after I shot the first uhu, I seen Mo, and he shot his first uhu. And we're kind of working this little um, towel pile because had some joes inside the the cracks and ledges, but they weren't really coming out to play. And I didn't know how much you know opportunities was gonna get jumping in the water, so I didn't want to waste any of my drops. So I couldn't find the joes; um, they wasn't coming out. So I kind of just decided to pick out a, a towel. And I was able to tag one of those as well. So right after that, I let I let Mo kind of work that area, and I kind of swam around a little bit more. And I did find uh, a pair of uhus, so a blue whip tail and a red whip tail. And yeah, I took a drop on them. Um, you can kind of see them um, right in front of me and I'm kind of watching the behavior mainly just watching the behavior and see what they do and kind of adjust towards their movement so the red kind of came in and when I was lining up right over here I could have potentially had a shot and I knew it and I didn't take it it's those small short moments split seconds that you have opportunities on fish that you should pull trigger uh, unfortunately, I didn't pull trigger and I didn't see that fish again. So while I was swimming around, I ran into a nice uh, Munu and Moana Kali. So I took a drop here and they kind of dug out, kind of swam away. So I'm kind of just waiting, watching, same, same thing, watching their behavior, letting them um, kind of get curious and the Munu slowly starts working his way towards me um, creeping up creeping up so i begin to line up to take my shot and i take my shot and 
I took it a little too early. I think because of what happened with the Uhu, I was a little over anxious. So I shot earlier than I should have. If I waited just a little bit longer and approached it a little bit closer, I would have had a nice Munu. So that commotion kind of brought in a pair of Ukus. And uh, one was fairly small and one was a pretty decent size maybe maybe five pounds um so i took a drop in this nice little crack and the smaller one comes in first he comes right in so i pass him up kind of looking around for the bigger one and i don't see him on my left so i look over to my right he wasn't there and when i look over to my left again there's a uku right above me and i didn't i thought that was the same smaller one but it was actually the bigger one um because right there the smaller one shows up again so i had another missed opportunity this guy was looking the other way but that's how it goes sometimes so we left um in that area we couldn't really find any other clean spots um, I'm trying to just hunt around for clean water and it didn't really get any better it there was a north swell and a and the winds picked up so yeah kind of stirred up everything i mean we still got a chance to get in so and i wasn't too bummed out that i had the uhu already so i dropped in this little fish um, ledge that had some impachis i was hoping i seen some alaihis or something inside there was a small mupai on the back they weren't really giving me attention so when i was looking around um i did see a roy just fluttering in the back and it's kind of hard to see there's a lot of like palanis balus in front that kind of are in the way so i waited for them to clear out before i took any shot and i knew that i could shoot straight through without getting stuck so as soon as i got a clear sh line of sight i was able to take my shot and i actually thought i missed it but um, I ended up tagging it, and it was a pretty good sized Roy. <laughs> he would not get out the hole. He curled up inside to force him out. You can't really see it just because of the angles, but there it is. Yeah, I can see it was pretty big. So now we're back at the sandbar. Uh, short dive today. Got a couple birds, a couple uhus, so we're gonna clean them up. We'll take them home for dinner. But yeah. We stay at the sandbar and this view never gets old. So I don't know if you guys know this, but this is what is in the deeper throat of an uhu or a paired fish. It's these chomper like teeth that break down the coral inside their mouth so they can digest it i never cut deep enough to see one before or took taking one out so uh jensen was telling me like yeah that's deep inside the the uhu's mouth i thought it was pretty cool until next time like subscribe and join us on the next venture shoot